Hello, this is Bailey with HVACB, and today I'm going to be talking about a pressure switch. Located right here inside your furnace is the pressure switch. What it does is it detects the inducer is pulling the correct draft before ignition. If it fails to close, the furnace will not fire. So your pressure switch right here has a little switch on the inside, and usually you have some kind of tubing connected. And when this, before the system starts, your pressure switch is one of the first in the operations. And if this tube right here, which is wrapped around this system, is cracked or you have any issues or there's something that is blocking the venting then it won't allow this to close and it won't allow the system to start which is very important because you don't want those gases to be building up inside your system symptoms of a bad pressure switch is the igniter never glows or briefly glows then shuts off your igniter is located right here by the burners and whenever the gas turns on um, that igniter lights it. Your inducer runs continuously with no flame or the control board shows a code or furnace short cycles or locks out. Some ways to check on your pressure switch to see what the issue might be would be one the inducer motor operation so whenever you start your furnace you should start with the heat call from the thermostat and then you want to listen for weak airflow or rattling sometimes when your motor spins you can hear um, whether it's rust or debris if it's in an attic system sometimes birds will lay pine straw or whatnot in that venting so you can listen out for that you can check your amp draw on the inducer motor itself see how that looks and then clear the port so these tubes pull off and you can check it that way two would be the pressure tubing again check for cracks kinks or water in them especially on 90 percent furnaces make sure they're tightly on remove them and clear it um, and you can even um, pull off and do a light suck to see if you hear the pressure switch itself click um, three would be venting and exhaust restrictions. Very common. Check for blockages, long horizontal runs, sagging or water inside. Again, especially with 90% furnaces. Um, and then your termination cap clogged, which is where animals like to sometimes, especially on a roof or a side of the house, they'll come and build nests. So always check for that. Four would be the heat exchanger or airflow restrictions. This is not very common, but if you have a collapsed heat exchanger or um, a cracked one that can sometimes cause it and the uh, closed air returns or dirty filters especially will cause it because it won't allow it to have proper airflow electrical and switch testing so on the switch itself you have an open and close terminal and so you want to check that what you can do is take them off and check continuity. You should always have OL. If not, it's bad. Um, then you can also keep the wires off while you run the system. Test continuity on the switch and it should have continuity when it's calling. Um, put wires back on. Check for 24 volts when calling. Then you should drop to zero volts when closed. So that would be a few electrical um, ways to check it. But this is Bailey with HVACB and just some overview on a pressure switch.